Hey guys, Jerry here from Oracle Talks Tech. And in this video, we are taking a look at a pair of truly wireless AirPods. They are the i7S model. So we are going to take a look at the product and go over the specs and see how they perform. And we're going to do that right now. All right, let's take a look at the box here. Um, on the front, you have a picture of the product, obviously. You have the model number, uh, some icons here. Now, one of the things right off the bat that I have an issue with is the packaging does not match the product. And what I mean by that is, is this is showing a pair of white ear pods. We do not have white. We have the black uh, edition. And in my opinion, what's on the packaging should match what's inside the box. Again, my opinion. So as you see on the side here, it has a little check box next to the black ones to tell you what you have. Okay. Um, on the back, as you can see, this gives you some specs. And the specs are, gives us the model number, which is i7S TWS. They are Bluetooth version 4.2 plus EDR. Uh, let's see, battery capacity is 65 milliamp hours for the AirPods and 950 milliamp hours for the case. Um, they have a distance of about 12 meters, which is approximately 40 feet. Uh, they have a playing time of about five to six hours. Takes about one to two hours charging time. And they have a standby time of about 100 hours. All right, now this product does work both with iOS and Android. So inside the box here, we have the manual. And the manual just gives you instructions on how to set it up, specifications, uh, Bluetooth usage, things along that line, general stuff. Here are the headphones, or the case and the headphones inside. Take a look at that in a second. And the only thing else in this box is the little micro USB cable for charging. Okay. Set that to the side. Again, here's our case. On the front, we have a little button here. That's the power button. That's letting you know that obviously the case is turned on and it is charging the AirPods. Uh, one interesting thing that I found is it only has two LED lights. So it's kind of hard to tell exactly where you stand as far as charge goes. With one light on, does that mean that I have 25%? Does it mean I have 50% left in this case? It's hard to say. Um, you know, most of them have four uh, lights, or at least three anyways. Um, this one only has two. All right. Now on the back here, you have the micro USB port for charging. And let's pop it open. Now, first things first, this case, especially this lid, is pretty... Uh, flimsy. No magnets. It just clicks lock. Alright, let's take a look inside at each one of the AirPods. Set the case to the side. Now, here are the AirPods. They do look very similar to Apple's AirPods. Um, they have speaker ports there and there. All right, on the back you have a multi-function button that is on both of them, and both of them have a little LED light indicating if they're in pairing mode or if they're on or off. Okay, and that's pretty much the uh, product. Um, as far as quality, um, they're very light. Again, they are made out of plastic, which is the way most of these are made. Um, now let's get to sound quality. 
sound quality is unfortunately not very good, in my opinion. Uh, they lack serious bass. So if you are a bass head, do not buy these. Um, if you are going to be listening to an audiobook or a podcast, these might be a cheap you know, alternative to AirPods or other uh, pricey headphones. But uh, yeah, bass-wise, no. It's a no-go. Um, there is, unfortunately, a lot of lag. Now, I had these connected to my Samsung Galaxy Note 8, and I was watching a YouTube video, and there was quite a bit of lag. Uh, and then one other thing that really is annoying is the right AirPod cuts out every so often. No idea why. I don't know if it's a battery issue, a pairing issue. Not really sure, but it cuts out. That's very annoying. Um, it does come right back, but it does cut out. And then the other annoying issue is that um, when you first turn them on, there is a beeping noise that's very prevalent in the left ear. You can hear it in the right, but it's not as loud. And then um, it will, like if you start playing a song, you can hear it if you have the song low enough. Eventually it does stop, but in the beginning it's still there. Um, and then when you stop playing the music, it comes back. These do have voice prompts, so when you turn them on, it does say power on, turn them off, power off. Um, when you put them in pairing mode, it does tell you that they're in pairing mode, as long or as well as the um, LED light here flashes red and blue to let you know it's in pairing mode. As far as the multi-function button goes, um, you press the pause, and then press the um, again to play you double tap and it will skip to the next track this is on both pods um, there is no going back it's only going forward I mean but if, if you continuously press it, it eventually it will turn their pods off so for the price uh, they're not expensive I believe they're around 20 20 some dollars at the time of this video I just I can't recommend them they need to work on the quality of the speakers. Um, there's just no bass. Even uh, listening to a song that doesn't have bass or you know isn't really supposed to be bassy, um, it doesn't sound very good in my opinion. Again, if, if you are just listening to audiobooks or podcasts, you know it might be a cheap alternative to you know something that's pricier. I guess the decision is yours. Um, I will leave a link down below where you can purchase these and uh, I'll leave that decision up to you. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, please click on the like button. If you did not, that's fine. Go ahead and click that dislike button. But if you do, let me know in the comment section why you didn't like it. That way I know what to work on. Whether it's video quality, sound quality, whatever. Just let me know. Again, you know, if you enjoyed this, like I said, click that like button. Uh, if you'd like to see future videos from me and this channel, please go ahead and click that subscribe button. But make sure you click that bell icon to the right. That way you are notified every time that I upload something new. Alright guys, and until the next video, I'll talk to you then.